There we go. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> How are we all doing today? Dude, Long Couch here. And uh, this is an exciting day. This is one of those days, one of those games, where I did not expect to be playing this game when I woke up today. But I've heard so many good things about it that I couldn't just ignore it. This is called Hades, and it's by Super Giant Games or Super Massive Games. I always get them confused because it's like the same name. Uh, the same people that make um, Bastion and Transistor. It's that team. Uh, let me get the Master Volume brought back up here. And then we'll see if that's balanced. It's always a fun balancing game, trying to get the audio right with the new game you're playing. So, I, I honestly don't know much about this game. Uh, it's a roguelike, and it has melee combat in it. <laughs> and... Uh, Everybody is just gushing about it right now. Everything I see on, like, Twitter and Facebook and Reddit, everybody's just saying, like, I've heard people say this is a perfect video game or, like, at least really, really close to perfect. And I also have a buddy who's playing it. He can't stop gushing about it. It's just one of those games that just all of a sudden just came and started taking over everything. So I was like, all right, I, I want to see what this is about because it looks like it might be a lot of fun. I might be able to get into it. I don't know if this is going to become a full series or not. It's really going to depend on how much fun I have doing this. But uh, let's let's see. Let's get into it. And we will find out. This is the PC version. I believe this game is also on Switch. Few tales are told of Hades, whose very name inspires fear and penitence, reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. I, however mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. Goodbye, father. Tartarus. To hell with this place. <laughs> okay. Doesn't really waste any time throwing you right in here. Interesting sort of isometric view. I've got a big frickin' sword. Wretches. Fix that for you. <laughs> this guy's very talkative as well. Oh, and I've got a dash. Look at this. I've got a lot of stuff. Look, I can shoot. No, I can't keep shooting. I have one blood bullet or whatever the hell that is. And I used it. And I can do this, too. Wow. What I can't do is move the camera, but that's not that weird being an isometric game. Hit him with a blood bullet. So far, so easy. No escape. This is locked because there's foes. Oh, they're spawning back in. Let's get out of here. Whoa. I wonder if I have iframes during this little dodge thing. Hey, Rose, what's up? How are you doing this fine Friday? There she is. It's got to be her. Then here goes nothing. <clears throat> In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Hail, noble cousin. Now, let's get you from that miserable place. 
I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. Cool. I love Greek mythology, guys. Okay, Boons of Athena. Blessings of the Grey-Eyed Daughter of the King of the Olympians. So we can choose one of these, apparently. Divine Strike. Your attack is stronger and can deflect. 40% attack damage. So that seems good. Press or hold X. So this gives us a, a deflect ability as well. Hmm. Phalanx Shot. I never know how to say that word. Hey, Blue, what's up, man? How you doing today? Is it is it phalanx or phalanx? Phalanx? I've, I've never heard anybody say that word out loud. <laughs> anyway, your cast damage is frozen in a small area and can deflect. Okay, so this also gives us a deflect. And then divine dash. Your dash deals damage and can deflect. Okay, so everything we get here is going to deflect, which is cool. <laughs> You just finished cleaning the, the garage? I was going to play Mario Sunshine, but you guess I'm watching me. Nice. I got to tell you, I think that watching me is a much better use of, usage of your time than playing Mario Sunshine. But that's just me. All right, I'm going to go for Divine Strike here. I know you can't hear me all the way where you are, goddess, but thank you. I'm very much a melee, stick and move kind of guy. So, seems like that'll be good for me. What the hell was that? Oh, jeez. Alright, so it said hold X. Holding X doesn't really seem to do anything for me. I don't know how to use my deflect. That I just got. This does feel damn smooth. Wonder where I can use this. Picked up a key. Okay. Like uh, I'm playing with the Xbox One controller, which these guys actually recommend playing this game with a controller. And I can see why. It's just uh, it's really smooth, really responsive. You can tell already the controls are really tight. Stab him with the pointy ends. <laughs> Stick him with the pointy ends. I can do that. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get that Mario collection. I love Mario Galaxy. But I don't have any particular love for Mario 64. I know, I know. And I honestly just don't like Sunshine that much. If they put out a Galaxy 1 and 2 collection, I'd be all over it. But that's not what they did. What the fuck? Oh god. I can't actually fall in there. I thought I'd be able to. So am I supposed to, like, trick these guys into getting shot? Yeah, that's what's up. something. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize I was using a key there, but sure. Yeah, I played Dead Space Extraction. It's an on-rails shooting game for the Wii, and it's... I'm not gonna call it a bad game. Oh, shit. But, uh, it's... It's not particularly great, either. I don't think it's something you really need to play. Oh, God. And I say that as a fan of Dead Space. Is there no way to heal myself? Oh, 
Oh, hit the wrong button there. This guy's smart. He won't step on the pressure plate. I need to heal. Jeez. There is no escape. House of Hades. <clears throat> yes, carry on, everyone. Don't mind me. Um, Bioshock is a game that I have tried to play <laughs> multiple times, and I always fail to get into it. I always get like an hour into it, and then I just stop. I don't know why. It just doesn't hold my attention. Back already. Welcome to the House of Hades, where. Wait, I know you. Guess that means you died out there, huh? Well, don't be sad, though. Pretty much everybody dies sometime. <laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> Some of us more than others. So I was supposed to die back there? They just keep throwing enemies at you until you die, I guess? You have come home. Do not despair, child. Such setbacks are inevitable and may be overcome with effort and with time. You made contact with the goddess Athena. She shall be true to her word. Sweet. I believe it, Nex. I'm grateful that you put us into contact. I know you took a considerable risk in reaching out. So I'm playing as the Prince of the Underworld? Zagreus? The risk is not to me. I expected the Olympians would involve themselves in this eventually. Reveal to them no more than they already know. Are we understood? Yes, we are. Then go. I don't understand anything that's happening right now. I just lied to this lady. I'm a bad person. Your love for Bioshock is infinite. <laughs> nice. Uh, who's this guy? Is this the King Yama of this game? It's kind of what he looks like. Stupid boy. I told you nobody gets out of here, whether alive or dead. So how is your wanton ransacking of my domain? So wait. If I'm the prince of the underworld, and this is Hades, is this guy my dad? Greetings, father. That? My ransacking was a delight, <laughs> thank you for asking. So I'll just be on my way again. Be on your way indeed. What do I care? You shall never reach the surface. Go, see for yourself. Okay. What is it now? Of a mountain of infernal parchment work. <laughs> Infernal parchment work. Out of my sight now, go. Nothing for me here. Cerberus, good boy. <gasps> Guys, we can pet Cerberus. There's a good boy. Yeah. Best game ever. Look at that, look at that. And we can talk to him too. <laughs> Infernal watchdog Cerberus regards the underworld prince with mixed emotions, from purest joy to deepest melancholy. You watch over things for me, won't you, boy? You know I'd take you if I could. Why can't we? Guys, I, I want to bring Cerberus. Here, boy. Just as long as one of your three heads enjoys these pets. <laughs> Can I pet the other heads? No, it's always the same head. At least he doesn't try to kill you like in God of War 3, right? That game was insane. Good to see you, lad. Despite the circumstances. Achilles! Remember your training out there. The pain of death is but another obstacle. And fear is for the weak. Take care, Achilles. Right. The House of Hades. That dark and lavishly appointed layer of the underworld's king. 
is home not just to him, but to his willful progeny. You know I can hear you, old man. <laughs> this game's kind of weird, but I'm digging it so far. Oh, just a heads up for you guys. So, uh, I mentioned this is the PC version of the game. I ended up getting this on the Epic Game Store because they're actually giving people a $10 credit right now. All you have to do is go into Epic Game Store and add Rocket League to your library, and it's free. Rocket League is free out there, so if you just go in and, you know, buy it for $0, um, they'll give you 10 bucks that you can spend on something else. So I did that, and I put it towards this game, which is normally $25, but with the... $10 credit from Epic Games, it was only 15 bucks. So I was like, yeah, I'll do that. But, you know, you can put that 10 bucks towards anything you want. It doesn't have to be this game, obviously. But, you know, it's a free 10 bucks. Why wouldn't you do it? Caro's a nickname for him? Named your cat after him. Wait, Caro is a nickname for Cerberus? I didn't know that. Is that true? Wait, I can relax here? No time to rest. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, room. I'm back. Oh, it's my room. Use the mirror to grow stronger. Night and darkness guide me. Okay. So... We get these little purple upgrade things. Shadow Presence deal bonus attack and special damage when striking foes from behind. Plus 10% per rank. Chithonic Vitality, whatever the fuck that means. Restore a small amount of your hearts when you exit a chamber. That sounds good. A little bit of healing. Every time we leave a room, I guess. It's kind of weird, but hopefully it works the way I want it to. Nix's strength. The bedchambers of Prince Zagreus lie in a perpetual state of utter disarray, despite his lord and master of the house repeatedly insisting that he pick everything up. Oh, come on, it's not that bad, is it? <laughs> I mean, my room is probably worse. So, take that as you will. Who needs sleep? Sleep is for the weak. Okay. Use keys to unlock a weapon. Need to find a key. Oh, I see. So I, right now I have one key. I can unlock whatever this is. That looks like a bow. It's kind of weird that they don't tell me... Escape through that pink window there. <laughs> they don't tell me anything about what I'm actually unlocking here. But let's just grab this. There we go. Cora locked. The heart seeker. Let's deal some death. Psst, over here. What the... What the fuck? All right. Hold X to fire. Y to volley fire. Release X while flashing to power shot. And then press X while dashing to dash strike. So th that replaces my sword, I guess. Nice place you got here, boyo. Name Skelly has it going, but enough with the smart talk already. I'm here to do a job. So let me have it. Give me everything you got. I don't remember having you on payroll, mate. Who's your supervisor? Oh, I'm not about to wrap my sources, pal. Just try and beat it out of me. Okay. If you insist. That's the stuff. <laughs> okay. So it does have to charge up for a second. If you charge longer, it does more damage. Or I can do this. That seems pretty good, too. Don't seem able to do the dash strike. What the fuck? Why'd it work that time? Yeah! 
Whoops. I don't fully understand the dash strike mechanic. <laughs> Bet I got you pretty good. <laughs> okay. Well, let's try this out. I don't know if it's going to be better than a sword, but... I can do this. Nothing here yet. Jeez. These must be unlocks or collectibles. No turning back. Alright, so I guess this is how we get back into the actual real game. Thunder. Is that... Is this really him? Okay. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Greetings there, young man. Look, your father's always been rather difficult, and he's not so much as called in quite some time. He'll have a better home where you belong, here on Olympus. And to help you on your journey, have my blessing. Oh, so Zeus is, like, behind all this? Like, luring us out? Boons of Zeus. Okay. Your special causes a lightning bolt to strike nearby foes. What is my special? Oh, the Y attack. Okay. Your cast is a burst of chain lightning that bounces between foes. That sounds pretty cool. And your dash causes a lightning bolt to strike nearby foes. Hmm. I want to try this chain of lightning thing. That sounds kind of, kind of all right. Old Uncle Zeus lending his support. Never thought I'd see the day, or night, whenever. <laughs> all right, here we go. I was gonna say, does, does the range of this cover, like the whole stage? Seems to. How careless of me. I wonder if it's worth destroying these all the time. Composed of such innumerable, ever-shifting, interlocking chambers, the underworld of Lord Hades all but guarantees the dead shall there remain until the end of time. So this is the in-game justification for why it's a roguelike? Why, like, the level layout is randomized every time you come in, I guess? Good thing I'm not dead. Except this doesn't seem random. Isn't this the same way it was last time? Louts. You're gone. Okay. Kind of nice being able to take these guys out from a distance. That'll probably help me stay alive longer. This bow's pretty fast, all things considered. The underworld's power. Nice. Twelve upgrade thingamajiggers. Lightning chain, but I can still only do it one time. Ah, damn it. Okay, but they drop ammo for me. Wow, that, that hits multiple enemies. I love that. This was a good choice. This is a good weapon. Lots of money. I have much gold. Oh, the candles come back on. I was going to say, maybe there's uh, like an achievement or something for uh, 
put them all out. landed a hit on me. A cathonic key. This can unlock something back home. Or... Each exit has its own reward. Is that what's going on? Okay. So that looks like upgrade points, and over here it looks like money for our reward, I guess. Nice, I like that lightning emote. It's like, the, it's from the Power Rangers, isn't it? Sexy. Um, I want upgrades. So let's go this way. Jeez. This guy's fast. And strong. But not strong enough, bitch. Okay. He has a good. He has like two health bars. Goes from yellow to red. That sound. That was revelry? People having a good time? Well sure then. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I'll accept this message. Zag man, how's it going? Look, you have <laughs> got to get here with the rest of us already. We've been saving you a spot. Let me see what I can do. Make life a little sweeter for you in the meantime. Okay. <laughs> Boons of Dionysus. Ah, Dionysus is the best. God of wine. All right, drunken dash. <laughs> your dash causes hangover several times near where you started? What? Oh, so it's like a... Like, leaves a trail of AoE damage, I guess. Uh, in Dead Space 2, which upgrade branches should you focus on? Honestly, I don't remember enough about that game off the top of my head, but I would say um, focus on your Plasma Cutter, because that's always like your bread and butter, right? In those games. I like the Plasma Cutter, and I believe I really like the Ripper in that game as well. So, that's really all I can tell you about that. After party, if your heart is low, after encounters, restore to the threshold. What? Your life total is 23 out of 50. Lose it all for an express trip back to the house of Hades. This is an epic one, apparently. It doesn't really sound that great to me, but it's probably because I don't really understand how the game loops yet. Encounters, the dangerous kind. Underworld chambers where you must slay your foes to proceed. Oh, is this it's just is this, this is just gonna heal me? I guess. Is that it? And then premium vintage gain hearts when you pick up something. I don't, they don't tell you what these little symbols are. An increase to your life total, healing you for the amount. Well, let's go with the epic one, even though I don't fully understand what I'm selecting here. Leave it to the god of wine to liven things up around here. I'm hurt. Can't heal myself, but I can fight. Okay. Hopefully it becomes apparent what I actually just bought there. Let's see what's in here. Here's a shop, the Well of Charon. Oh look, I can heal here, it just costs money. Uh, 
Um, looks like a gemstone for house contractor renovations or for trade. Provides a one-time benefit when acquired. And then Prometheus Stone. This does a lot of stuff. Retrieve from slain foes. So this will let me shoot more than one projectile without having to find ammo. Hmm. I mean, I've got enough for, like, all these right now, so... This one. I'm gonna heal a little bit. Oh, I can only do that once. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm getting all this shit. Upon demise, all money returned to Charon. All sales are final. Okay. Oh, so that's saying I don't get to keep money in between runs, so I might as well just spend it all anyway, right? Each weapon has their unique final special upgrades. Yeah, I don't remember those at all. Sorry, Blue. It's been a, a long time since I played that game, so I, I really just don't know. Looks like we can get some more upgrades over here. Let's try it out. Guys are chumps. Here come the stronger guys. This dude's pretty beastly, actually. Oh god. I wish it would tell me what this stuff is. This looks like a trident. Hmm. Alright. Maybe it's a new weapon? Oh, I can trigger those explosives with the bow. That's awesome. Which is... Ah, it's pretty strong, too. I'm really paranoid about falling into these pits. I don't think I actually can, though. But I can dash right over them. That's actually awesome. That's really good mobility. Lightning chain. Oh, they caught me. sucks that they don't trigger that, because they're floating. Like, I understand why they don't. But, man, I wish I could use that to hurt them. That'd be a lot of fun. It's, it's interesting how the enemies... A trident. ...use cover intelligently. It's uncle number two. It's got to be. Then, in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Hoy there, little Hades. 
Hayes. You recognize your uncle, do you not? We have a lot of catching up to do, but first things first. You get yourself out of that dour underworld. As for me, I'll see if I can stir things up a bit to cover your advance. Cool. Thanks, Uncle. Yeah, Blue, you were right. Poseidon's Trident. All right. Tempest Strike. Attack, deal more damage, and knock throws away. Special deals more damage and knocks foes away. That's 70%. And Tidal Dash. I don't understand how the dash works with the bow. That's just kind of a weird mechanic. Hmm. But this is saying the dash itself will do damage. The Tempest Flourish is really cool, but it's not something I use a lot. I think 30% on just the regular attack is... Probably our best bet here. Looks like I caught a big one. The power of the sea should be of help. So let's roll with that. I would love another shop where I can heal myself. If there is such a thing. Oh no. Let's see your relatives of all Olympus get you out of this. Shit. Survive for 45 seconds. Uh, okay. Jeez. I'm not going to survive this. That they're really strong. It turns out a tragic end is fit for a poet's verse. Wow. I probably shouldn't <coughs> I probably shouldn't have even been trying to kill them. Probably should have just kept running. Oh, one of those wretched louts just killed you dead that time. Those mean old slappy guys? Maybe try killing them beforehand. I don't know. Thanks, Hypnos. Right. Solid advice right there. Next to the throne. Renovate. Sort of special offer for me, my good shade. House contractor. The riches buried underneath the earth are as innumerable as the souls of the dead. Holy God! Look at all this. House decor. <laughs> they gonna eat me? They didn't eat me. They stomp my shit in. So I can change the look of places in here with these gemstones. Is that why I'm carrying these around? We've got bed chambers, contains faint traces of the past if you look closely. Oh, fountain chamber in Tartarus will restore some health amid the gloom and it's zero Gemstones, I guess. Work authorized. A fountain chamber in the depths of Tartarus sounds like an excellent idea. What's that there? Something from the fates. Chambers may contain an infernal trove. What? All right, so I guess I should focus on these right now. Treasure chest worth more the faster you slay the foes guarding them. Okay. The ever shifting chambers of the underworld ought to be a little livelier with this. Not that your birthright gave you better sense. Dad's mad. Who's that sniveling shade to your immediate left there, father? Already found someone new to do the busy work. And here I thought I was utterly indispensable. That shade boy is my newly designated contractor. One whose responsibility is to work on this house. Though who shall pay for everything my subjects here demand, I do not know. You're trying to guilt me into funding the exorbitant furnishings you desire. <laughs> Perhaps once we are finished with repairs for all the carnage you have sown throughout my realm, 
then we might finally have time for all the needed renovations that have piled up. Yeah, it's my fault that your place is a mess, right, Dad? Nice. Not the fact that you're always at work. Never home. Keep at it, lad. I've known great men throughout my life, and I can always tell when someone's better than their circumstances. Fight like I'd fight out there. I'll give them hell as you once did, Achilles. Though, doubtless, many of the shades who stand against me first arrived in Tartarus because of you. I if I missed anything back here. That door is locked. In there. Stay out of there. All right, all right. Not as comfy as it looks. Why does it give me the option to relax in all these chairs if I never actually do it? Like, when will I be able to relax? Darkness guides you, child. You have outgrown this house. Of that I am now certain. Should you return again here, I shall keep you safe. I won't forget you, Nyx, I swear it. Okay, thanks for the... vague, cryptic... whatever that was. Let's well, have a look here. We can now get some Shadow Presence or more Vitality, which I actually like the sound of. Especially because this only works when attacking enemies from behind. Restore 50% of health instead of dying when your to life total is depleted one time per rank. Oh! Should probably save up for that, actually. That sounds quite handy. Yeah, let's maybe just save our points and pick that up. I don't know, guys. Maybe I should go back to the sword for now. Just to, like, get a good feel for it. How's it going? Need some practicing? Stygius, blade of the underworld. I need your strength. You're using that thing now, huh? It's, it's a shame that I can't use both of them. I feel like I'm more survivable with the bow, but it's also a little trickier to use. The sword's more straightforward, so maybe I should just roll with this while I'm still learning the game. I'll have to come back later. I won't back down. Not now or ever. What is this? Farthest chamber reached nine. This looks like uh, Minas Morgul, the place where the Witch King of Angmar lives in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Which is appropriate, I suppose. Ready. Zeus always running from Hera. That's all that fool does. That looks like a Daedalus hammer. Oh. Enchantments for my weapon. So wait. These upgrades I get when I'm in here, are they sticking with me? Probably not, right? It's probably just for for that run. Hold attack to strike rapidly, dealing 25 base damage per hit. Dash strike hits twice and deals plus 20% damage. Or my attack can deal plus 300% damage to armor. Elite foes cannot be stunned or knocked away until you break through their armor. Oh, that's, that's probably what the yellow health meter was, right? That's considered armor, I guess. Sure, let's grab that. Yes, wherever you may be right now. Thank you. Yeah, so they stack up in here. I can see what I'm running with on any particular run. But as soon as I die, they're gone. Fair enough. Whoops. Gah. I can't believe I got hit already.
It's nice that they telegraph their attacks very obviously. Oh, I can't believe that hit me. Fuck. Numbskulls. <laughs> Numbskulls? These things are actually called numbskulls. Jeez. I'm definitely taking way more damage using the sword. It's unfortunate. Oh, son of a bitch. This run might not last very long, guys. Aphrodite. That must be a mess. Let's see here. Hi there. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Why, hello, hello there, little god thing. I have to say, you're quite the specimen, and so I've decided I shall aid you for the moment. You interested? Yes, please. Heartbreak Strike. Attack deals more damage and inflicts weak. Oh, that sounds good. 50%. But then here's a rare one. Your special deals more damage and inflicts weak. 116 for the Y attack. Okay. That seems like the way to go. Passion dash. Yeah, no, we're going for this one. Interested in the power to break hearts? Sure, I don't see why not. <laughs> the power to break hearts. They got me. No way to patch up. Got to keep going. Damn. That's cool that he acknowledges that, though. That's like, well, there's no way to heal. I know you wish you had one, but there's not, so... Fuck off. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Brimstones. What are brimstones? Got lasers. Stones with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. Dude, this Y attack is crazy strong now. Look at that. That's what's up. Again, no clue what either of these are, so let's just go with this one. Looks fun. Come on, what hit me there? A palm of power. Delicious. Special deals more damage and inflicts weak. Oh, okay. It's just stacking on what I already had. Dinkle Dink, what's up, man? <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Yeah, eventually I'll learn. Okay, this one's gold, I think. That's like a... I think that's like a coin that's worth 100 gold. And then this looks like some kind of, like, potion, maybe? Let's see. I think I hear the river. Charon's shot. Oh! Um, okay. Buy 20 hearts. I don't have the gold. Damn it. See you, Charon, mate. Just minding my own business, taking in the sights, and hey, what's that you got? Some sort of wares for sale? And I'll just have a look around. <laughs> Charon's not much of a conversationalist, I guess. The infernal wares of the Stygian boatman Charon lie sprawled about, 
Available for sale to whomever would be willing to quench the boatman's great thirst for riches. That would be me. It kinda sucks getting here before I actually have money to spend. I can't. Cause I probably can't come back, right? Oh no, I haven't tried yet. Let me see what happens if I try and go backwards. Nope. Well, balls. Balls, I say. So we just gotta get in quick, do damage, and then get out. Stick and move. Stick and move! Stick and move. This is a shop. Should be something useful here. Gain a random item offered from the Well of Charon? Provides a one-time benefit when acquired. Or Prometheus Stone. Gives us an extra shot. That didn't really help me out, so... We're not gonna get that. This I would buy if I... could afford it. We'll Looks see what like we get with this. Yarn of Ariadne. The next boon you find has upgraded rarity. Oh, that's kind of cool. So this will make our next thing that we come across better. Assuming I can get there without dying. Where to? I'm going for Aphrodite. Because she shows me the love. All right, brushes, get to work. Not another one of these rooms. No, fuck this. I'm dead. That must be one of those infernal troves. Okay, we're just gonna keep We're gonna we're gonna take the pansy route here. All we gotta do is stay alive, apparently. We don't have to kill these guys. Oh! Ah! I stuck there. Really made it. Come on, come on, come on, baby, come on! Woo! Enough. Well, that's better. Ooh, that feels good. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sucks to be here when I don't have any money yet. You, when you got to the PS5 pre-order page. I know that feel, bro. I know that feel. All right, so Crush Shot. Your cast is a wide, short-range blast that inflicts weak. That's... So it turns my projectile into a shotgun, basically? Passion Dash. I don't love the idea of using the dash as an attack, but maybe I should get used to it, because we find this a lot. And it's probably really helpful, actually. And then Sweet Surrender. Um... Weak Afflicted Foes are also more susceptible to damage. That would probably stack well with the upgrade I have right now, because I'm, I'm inflicting weak with the Y attack, aren't I? So, like, that seems like that would pair pretty well. But I kind of want to try out this crush shot. It is epic, guys. Hard to argue with epic. So... Yeah, let's, let's, let's take that. Beauty. And we got a chest here, too. Trove Trial. Gain up to 25 gemstones. Do I want to do that? I guess I should try it once, right? Probably gonna die, but whatever. Let's see if you can live through this. Oh god. Slay foes quickly.
Did I do it? Oh, why do I bother? There we are. I think I did it. I'll take it. I got three. It said that I could get up to 25, and I got three. Never enough of these back at the house. Well, uh, all right. At least I'm still alive. Oh my god, they're throwing fucking bombs at me. Stop that. Ah! I can't believe that hit me. I'm so upset. Okay. We've got two health, guys. <laughs> but I'm somehow staying alive. I don't know how I'm doing it. Yeah, I've made it farther than I ever have before. Let's go, lads. And I suspect this is where I die as well. Yeah. I'm not used to like how the attacks work yet. Like what kind of attacks the enemies have. Uh, they, they they telegraph it sometimes, but oh, skeletons. You can't always see it coming. Whoa, you just got killed by one of those bloodless Inferno bomber skeleton type guys. Nice. I always wondered what would happen if you just kind of stood around <laughs> while all their bombs went off. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's my response as well. <laughs> it's kind of cool. So it seems like that guy likes to tell you a little bit about the thing that killed you. And, uh maybe give you some advice like I didn't really need to be told not to stand in the bomb radius it's not like I did on purpose but that's still funny you'll get the hang of it out there lad for all our sparring practice there's no teacher like the real thing now then I have something for you oh what wait you're giving me your codex I can't accept something like this please I insist I want your love of history to grow not just your love of warfare Besides, maybe you can finish out the rest of it. I'm grateful. Codex. So this is like the game's database. We've got the Chthonic Gods. I don't know what that means. I've never heard that word before. We've got Olympian Gods, Others of Note, The Underworld, and Infernal Arms. Perilous foes. So this is where we can go in and learn about, like, the different enemies and how to fight them, I guess. The Numbskulls. Learn more by slaying the Numbskull, 73. Okay, so this will fill in as we kill things, I guess. And this is where it tells us, like, what everything is. This is actually really helpful. I was hoping for something like this. I'll probably go through and read this on my own time. I'm not going to do it here on stream because that would be boring for most of you, probably. But yeah. Well, that was quick. What news, boy? Ready to give up or no? Hell no. Nah. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Lucky I've got other family who believe in me. Be careful whom you give your trust. My brothers frolic on Olympus while we work, while I work. You're just like them. No wonder they like you. Yeah, because we don't have sticks up our asses. Like you do. If I don't patch your other heads, don't bite my arm off, deal? Good boy, Cerberus. Someplace else. Good boy. 
I wonder if we can ever upgrade the weapons. What is this? What once was a small lounging area within the House of Hades now is sealed off in utter shambles since the multi-headed Cerberus tore the space apart, warning the missing prince. Aww. Cerberus missed us and he, he got rowdy because he was sad. The lounge again. It's kind of awesome. Too pricey for me. <sighs> yeah, I didn't get a lot of gemstones. So we can't really do much here. How goes it, Shane's? Just look at him. Do you really think he has what it takes? Cause of death, wolves. Okay. All right, upgrades. I've got 54 points. I do want to pour one point into Death Defiance. The next one's 500. How about that? And then I want to give myself a little extra healing as well. So it's interesting. Okay, so every successive rank that you buy in here makes the price go up. But interestingly, it doesn't make the price of other things go up. Which is how it works in a lot of rogue roguelikes that I've played. Um... I know uh, d d d uh, Rogue Legacy does that, which by the way, I have Rogue Legacy 2, and I wanted to play that on stream as well. Just haven't gotten around to it yet. There's too much stuff to play, guys. All right, I'm ready. Way too freaking much. Not even tired, thanks. Still can't rest. All right. If we get one more key, we can unlock whatever the hell this is. I need more Chthonic keys for this. The courtyard of the House of Hades is kept neat and orderly, in contrast to the terrifying sprawl that lies beyond. Right. It's not that orderly, really. <laughs> you might get this game. I think it's uh, worth a purchase so far. There's, um... There's not much to complain about. I mean, it's it's a little vague with some of the stuff, like the items and whatnot, but like that's stuff that you'll you learn all that. just from playing. Like I'm starting to figure out the systems and everything, you know? And it controls really well. It seems well written. It's funny. The graphics are fine. Like it is a great game. Again. Yes, Dinkle, there is a Rogue Legacy 2. It's still technically in early access on Steam, but you can buy it and play it right now. Um, I think they only have one full area in the game right now. So if you remember in the first game how there were like four different areas to go through, there's just like one of those in the game right now. My greetings, young nephew. And more importantly, <coughs> my blessing and my strength be with you as you journey towards your rightful home. Okay. Oh! My regular attack emits chain lightning? That sounds fucking awesome. Cast is a burst of chain lightning? That sounds good too. But that's only for the projectile, which you don't get to use a lot. And dash causes a lightning bolt to strike nearby foes. Let's try this out. I'm gonna try and use the dash. Thunder time. Thunder time. Oh, fuck. The shit attacking me already? I was not ready for that. Shoot. Huh. Okay. That seems alright. Each time the prince delves back into the underworld, its ever-shifting chambers realign to frustrate his attempts to maybe map it out. Built to ensure no one gets out. We'll see about that. Indeed we will. Yeah, I haven't really gotten a good sense of, like, what a good build is yet, as far as, like, you know, like, which upgrades I want to focus on. I'm trying out the dash right now. I'm not sure it's really going to be my bread and butter, though. And this is totally randomized. We just 
we had a weird coincidence earlier where we got the exact same room right off the bat, and I was like, wait, I thought this was a roguelike. But now I can see, yes, it is definitely randomized. That's a cool animation, with that lightning coming down. But I will say this is definitely not going to replace your, your primary attack. Like, you can't dash nearly as quickly as you can just spam sword attacks. And it's not really that strong anyway. So it does seem like... Although the fact that you don't have to actually hit the enemies for the lightning strike to hit them is pretty cool. But it doesn't always hit them. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Okay. A key to a weapon. It's kind of weird. So like these here, I have no idea what either of these are. We're just gonna have to learn by going in and figuring it out. The weapons play differently too. Dash buffs are super useful on certain weapons. Gotcha. Yeah, I was using the bow earlier and I liked it, but I wanted to get used to the sword first. I might go back to the bow later. really messing with my brain that I can't fall into these pits. Shit. Like, it's a good thing, but it feels wrong, so, like, I keep avoiding them while I'm fighting, like, oh, don't fall in there. This one was bound to show up, I guess. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. You've got quite the fighting spirit in you there, I have to say. Most intriguing. And yet no surprise for someone born in hell itself. You come on out of there and tell me all about it. I'm a fellow student of death, you see. Slicing shot. Your cast sends a blade rift hurtling ahead. After you take damage, inflict doom on foes around you. Doom is a status curse. After a brief moment, victim takes a burst of damage. Oh, that's kind of cool. So if I get hurt, I hurt everybody else. And your attack special and cast deal more damage. Oh, this is for everything. 10% across the board. Huh. You're sold on this game now? Yeah, it's, it's quite good. I've only been playing it for an hour, but it's very, very good. See, this is weird. So this is a rare upgrade. Which by default, you think might make it better than the the regular ones, but this seems better all around. Because this is just a constant 10% on everything I do. Which I feel like is overall going to be more helpful than this. I don't know. Dinkle Dink, thank you for that tier 1 sub. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'll go with the rare one though. I kind of want to see how this works. The war is on. I could see how that'd be really helpful. Like if I'm taking damage, then obviously it's like a tough battle. I mean, not necessarily, I guess. But like in a tough battle, I'm going to take damage, and that thing could end up saving me. You know what I mean?
I don't like when I can't see him. I can't see what he's doing. Time to mix up my style. Hold attack to strike rapidly. I didn't get to try that out earlier. I might want to try that. Your attack deals 200% damage striking foes from behind. Okay. That's a lot of extra damage, but it's situational. And dash strike hits twice and deals 20% damage. Hmm. That's actually a tough choice. I kind of want to try this furry, flurry slash, though. Not furry slash. That's a whole other thing. Let's not get into furries right now. Ares has some great buffs, but the ones you got are kind of weak. I think each god has a pool of about 10. Gotcha. Okay. A blade fit for a god. Oh, check this out. I can just hold it down. That's going to mix really well if I ever get some kind of, like, stun ability. But I am starting to get a feel for how you kind of mix in the dashes with your attacks. There's a real cadence to it that feels really good. You want to see the furry slash? You're going to have to watch somebody else for that, man. I'm not that kind of streamer. Who's throwing those? Where is he? Dude, they've got crazy range. That dude was downtown. Slobbing his bombs at me. Where now? Um, more upgrade points are always a good thing. Let's just go for this one, I guess. Sanic, I choose you. More witches. Sanic the Hedgehog. Whoa, what the fuck just happened there? What is... What is damaging me when I'm doing that? That was weird. I couldn't really tell what I was taking damage from there. I guess it was just the regular attacks from those enemies. Good. But that sucked. Passive. Restore 10% when you enter a chamber. Ooh. But it only works for three chambers? I guess. You deal 50% damage striking undamaged foes? Okay, so first hit is an extra 50%, but only for six encounters. And then gain 20% movement speed for eight encounters. All right, well, I definitely want this one, I think. Bot. Then we'll get that too. Since we gotta spend the money anyway, right? Like in this flurry attack. It actually feels really good. You can go into it so seamlessly. Centaur heart. That ought to keep me going for a bit. Nice! Ferret, what's up, man? How are you on this fine Friday evening? Hmm. Let's go this way. Doing all right? Good, glad to hear it.
Okay. These guys are big. Oh, I got him locked up there, though. Did you see that? Yeah, this game's fucking awesome. I have a feeling, like, when you get really good at this game, it's gonna feel amazing. Some of the stuff you can pull off in the combat system. What is this, I wonder? How's this game treating me? I am really, really loving it so far. It's challenging, but not unfairly so. There's a lot of stuff to learn. mad. Alright, where's my shit? What is this? Who should I get this to? What is that? Nectar. The drink of the gods is one of the underworld's most sought-after delicacies and truly perhaps one of the only sources of genuine lightness here within this realm. Okay, so it's not actually going to tell me what it is until I collect, like, 20 more, though. Give it to an NPC. Gotcha. So it's like a key item. Sort of. Hmm. This is money. I think I'd rather have some more perks. What the hell are those things? It's like a big pile of skulls. A sentient pile of skulls. Shall not suffer you to live. Stick with me. Roger that. Special deals more damage and knocks foes away. That actually sounds really good. 70% is good. Cast damages foes in an area. Okay. Ocean's Bounty. Any gemstones, upgrade points, and money chamber rewards are worth more. Oh. Hmm. That's a tough call, actually. You know, this is a pretty good run. I think I want to try and keep the momentum going, so let's get some extra damage. Oh. Strength. Hopefully I can just keep, you know, plowing through. More numbskulls? Jesus. Sometimes the attacks aren't telegraphed at all. <laughs> it's just like all of a sudden... I've lost 30 health and I don't know why. Either that or it's just really hard to notice. Phew. Felt something. Felt something, he says. Also, with the isometric view, sometimes it's kind of hard to see what's going on in certain places. Like with this damage plate here. 
Or like sometimes an enemy kind of gets stuck in a corner and you can't really tell what it's doing. Just shit like that. Guess it's not a perfect game. Never gone this far. Still pretty good though. New record, guys. We've never been this far. Dead. Get fucked. I kind of like this build I have going right now, honestly. The buffed strong attack, and then, you know, this, the flurry attack. Like, that's pretty cool. Does anybody in chat know when you do your dash, do you get any iframes during that? And is it like just a couple? Is it the whole thing? I don't know. I'd like to know, though. Trove Trial can restore up to 100 hearts. If I survive, I get a full heal. I'll take what's mine. You shall regret this. You might be right. Let's make this quick. One left, where is he? Ugh. Why do I pay these wretches? Peace and quiet. Okay, so that gave me back... Good enough. 67, so... Nice. You only get a free copy of Connect Adventures. <laughs> Connect Adventures. Worst game ever. You do get some iframes, but not a ton. Gotcha, okay, cool. Kind of thing I haven't really been keen to test out myself, you know. Uh oh, back to Charon. Just tidying up a bit. Beyond the present chamber lies the outermost perimeter of Tartarus, promising terrifying dangers far beyond the underworld prince's reckoning. Hmm. And I can reckon quite a bit. Sounds like a boss fight. Get through the first area. Oh, I can give Charon the thing. Should I do that? I've got to say, you are a sight for sore eyes there, Charon. So, uh, looks like you're selling. Is that it? You come to help me out? Brilliant. <laughs> I love these little talks with him. Suggest giving the first one to Skelly. Okay. Um. Okay, that would be 40 hearts. Don't need that. And can't afford anything else. Well, it's been real, Charon. Thanks for nothing. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> halt, Sagrius. Not one step further. First of the Furies, oh shit. Come on, Megan. Haven't we had more than enough of each other by now? Besides, don't you have some place else to be? Your father sent me. All in all, I'd rather be on your bad side than his. Now you can turn back, like a good little man, or I can send you home the painful way. What'll it be? I choose pain. I'll have to go with the painful way. A man after my own heart. Aw, oh, shit. Yeah, butt metal! Oh. Okay, alright, alright.
Got to stick and move. Better. Shit. Well, of course you've got buddies. No, I dashed into it like an idiot. Stick and move. What are you doing? Fuck! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, this is... This is weird. I don't think I'm gonna win this. I'm not winning the War of Attrition right now. more. Wow. Oh! I forgot I had, I had that. <laughs> Stop doing that. That's so cheap. Fuck. Damn it! Drown in the river sticks. <sighs> I was kind of close. I don't. I think that's not bad for our first real boss fight there. That could have been worse. Ah, oh, cheers for that, Meg. Shades of the dead mill constantly within the house, complaining of their woes and seeking audience from any who would listen. Yeah, third of her health. That's, uh... That, that's doable, you know? Just a couple more upgrades, I think, and I might be able to swing that. I listen. What? Uh, what? <laughs> oh, wow, so Megara herself got you last time. That must have been intense. She's fast and strong and beautiful. And, um, anyway, I hope the fates are nicer to you next time. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, I hope so, too. <laughs> Back again. I love how they, like, everybody's just constantly talking shit every time you come back. So I'm thinking one more run, guys. Achilles, is it really true that Cerberus ripped the lounge up right after I left? You must have gotten in a lot of trouble. I only wish you could have seen it, lad. The place looked like a vineyard after a typhoon. Your lord father was livid. But he never gets so angry with the dog. Poor Dusa, though, she's picking the place up. Dusa? Oh, no. I wonder what became of Dusa. She's always worried father's going to fire her, even without something like this. Who is Dusa? It's locked. You know your father's rules. Father, what happened to the lounge? The only place for anyone to have a little fun around here, and you seal it shut. Oh, I had little choice about that boy. You see, after you fled the first time, Cerberus, why, he was very much upset. Utterly tore the place to shreds. It's now under repair. All thanks to you. You're really blaming me for not minding the dog while I was out and while you all were here. Right? I lay the blame entirely upon you, yes. Who else? <laughs> it's fortunate that Cerberus has calmed himself since then. Come to his senses, I should say. May you yet come to yours. We're gonna have to fight him at the end, aren't we? He's the final boss. That would make sense. I mean, this game is called Hades. Learn more by having conversations with Cerberus? How are you holding up, boy? Eating well lately? All three mouths full and happy? And yeah, that, that could be referring to Medusa. I'm kind of um, 
embarrassed that I didn't think of that myself. That's a good call, Ferret. Each terrifying maw of the infernal watchdog Cerberus responds affirmatively, one after the next, as if to reassure the ever-doubting prince. Hmm. Okay, so we got to come here and check for conversations every time we come back. I wonder where Nyx went. Also, who is uh, Skelly? I don't, I don't think I've seen anybody named Skelly. <sighs> oh, oh, is that the the dummy guy up here? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Haven't moved a muscle. Don't suppose I can talk you into fighting back this time? Not a chance, boyo. I'm paid to take it, not to dish it out. Now give it to me. Okay. This guy's like a... What's the word? Masochist? Alright, let's give him the nectar. For you, mate. Thought you might get a kick out of this. For me, pal? Awful nice of you. Just awful nice. But guess what? I got this for you. Tit for tat, you understand. It deals the deal. Cheers, mate. Lucky tooth. Oh, what? <laughs> huh. Okay. Let's see if I can figure out what that was that I just got. Go to the glass case near the sword. Oh, it's one of these things? Got something new to try. Automatically restore up to 50 health when your life total is depleted once per escape attempt. Oh, that's cool. So, that's different from the res that I got from the the darkness skills or whatever. I have to equip it. Okay. Stacks with the other buff. Gotcha. Nice, nice. We'll get a lot of these. And they all take nectar. Okay. Might help. Very cool. Darkness is power. Reflex, perform one additional dash in quick succession. That seems really good. Especially uh, since I'm getting used to using the dash in combat now. But we haven't bought any of this yet. We should probably do one of these. And then we'll buy another one of these. That's maxed already? Three is the max I can get back? Damn. The power of darkness. Fair enough. Fair enough. Should we do one more run with the bow, guys? Just to see. Coronacht hungers. Scared to get up close and personal, boyo? Shut up, Skelly. Whoa. All right. Time to go. A divine arrow. Ooh. There's only one heavenly archer I know of. Well, several, really. Anyway, in, in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. I heard about you. Look, I'm not like all the others on Olympus. The power of the hunt helps keep me company, so maybe it'll help you too. Attack is stronger. 15% chance to deal crits. Special stronger with 20% chance to deal crits. These are all basically the same thing. Um, this one doesn't give us a chance for crits, so we're not going to do that one. Should I be using this more with the bow? Maybe I should. That's more damage and a higher crit chance. So let's go with that one. The power of the hunt sounds like good company to keep.
definitely makes it like an entirely different game <laughs> using this bow. The goddess of the hunt has always held my highest admiration. Unlike so many of her brethren on Olympus, she seems unconcerned with being praised at every turn by mortals. Instead, she dutifully holds her station as a master of the natural world. Cuckoo. Wow, this isn't even doing damage. I thought, the, I thought your dash did damage as, like, a baseline. But no. So, you, I guess your dash doesn't do damage unless you get a boon upgrade. Yeah. It's interesting. See what this one is. Yeah, I definitely need to use this attack more. <laughs> That's pretty nice, actually. It's almost like this game's version of a shotgun. <laughs> Spray and pray. All right, cast seeks foes with 10% chance to deal crits. I don't really like the cast attack. Does that get better later? Because right now it's just kind of meh. Dash strike deals 50% damage. Okay, 50% of what though? It does zero right now. Oh no, that's the, the, the attack after the dash, gotcha, okay. Critical effects deal even more damage. Okay, well, this isn't even really that good, but this is, like, the only one that's even worth a crap out of all these, so... Yeah. Ooh, I, I want a key. That's enough to unlock a new weapon now. That's better critical again, but this one makes our flourish even better. 20% chance to deal critical damage. Special damage will go up to 56. Yeah, let's get that. That seems like a no-brainer. Okay, this is a tough choice, actually. Um, let's go for the nectar. I'd like to unlock a few more of those. Numb skulls. All right, fuckers. They're fast.
I've really got to remember that a lot of these projectiles, um, I can knock out of the air. Not this stuff. Which is very handy. Restore 16. You deal 50% damage, striking undamaged foes. I don't think I want any of these right now. I think I might save my coins. See if we get some better stuff later. What the hell is that? Your Highness. Oh. What's up, dude? You know, Prince, it's been good not having to see those Fury sisters quite as much lately. The main one, what's her name? She's on your case now, isn't she? You mean Megara? She's on my case, all right. Under strict orders not to let me out of Tartarus. I guess that means you've got yourself a break. About damn time they gave one to you, sir. Sissy Fest furtively offers a choice of benefits. What does it mean, lose it all for an express trip back to the House of Hades? Oh, there's, uh, that's just their, f their fancy way of saying that you die, you start from the beginning. I don't know why I thought that meant something different up until now. Like, it seemed like they were trying to, like, explain a mechanic. Which they are, but, like, it's... I'm an idiot. Okay. So... It doesn't tell me what the benefits are. I guess these just go up. Like, healing would go up a little bit. Or we get more darkness to buy more upgrades. Go with health, I guess. It's all yours. Cheers, mate. Five second rule. That was five seconds, right? <laughs> this game has a sense of humor, too. Should I give this to this guy right now? Might as well, because I haven't seen him. So it might be a while until we run into him again. Seems like you just have to kind of get him randomly. So, yeah. Hey, sir. Thought this might ease your burden for a while. Now hold a moment, Highness. I cannot accept something like this. Not without giving back a little something in return, that is. Thanks for that, sir. Shattered Shackle Keepsake. All right. to go see what that is then. Tombstone. The fuck is this? Did I just get into a freaking boss fight? Gonna lie, I kind of wish I had my sword back right now. Get out. Ooh, got him. So my elusive Artemis has shown you favor, has she? little scamp. She seldom shows respect to anyone, not even me. But I'll enhance her blessing nonetheless. Yeah, the soundtrack is really good so far. Lightning strike. I like that one. Um, electric shots for casts. No. Uh, we're going with this one. Thunder and lightning. Damned lost souls with nowhere left to turn congregate in deepest Tartarus, where they fuse together with the earth itself into odious forms which defy description. They basically turn into big crystals.
Yeah, that's the way you do it. You get them all lined up. Just shoot right through them. That's the power of the bow. That's why that's good. Look what I found. But I will say, I think I like using the sword more. But maybe we'll find an even better weapon at some point. Kieran's shot. <laughs> Don't really need any of these either. Okay. Fine day to you as well, there, mate. Now let's have a look at your supplies, shall we? Charon hasn't really had much useful for me yet. Like, I never have enough coins to get the good stuff when I get here. Which kind of sucks. Also, is there a place I can see which floor I'm on? Chamber 11. Okay. that hit me. Oh, I can dash even over these two? That's a big part of the strategy, isn't it? I gotta make better usage of that. Cause like, the enemies? These guys can't go over these gaps. But I can. Very easily. So I think I've been not utilizing that properly. God's grant me strength. Better lightning chain. Specials even better. Or crit deals even more damage. Let's keep bumping up that deadly flora show. You did the impossible a guitarist can do? 100 video game songs within three minutes? Jeez, man. That sounds amazing. You should record that and put that on YouTube. What do we have? Slain foes have a 15% chance to drop items. To drop health items. Oh. That could really come in handy. Attacks deal 30% damage. Gain one. No, we're not going to buy that one. I'm going to buy both of these, though. Damn right. Oh. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. That's such a good way to heal yourself. If I can bring that into the Medusa fight, that might give me the edge I need to beat her. Steal 150% damage to nearby foes? Wow. Plus 200% to distant foes. What counts as distant, though? Power shot is easier to execute and deals plus 150% damage. That sounds amazing. The 
Like, these all sound really good. I don't even know which one to get. Uh, shit. I think, I think Perfect Shot is probably the one to go with here. Mr. Red Wookie, what's up, man? I'm doing great. How are you? Thanks for coming by. With all the firepower I can get. I am trying out this game, Hades, and it's really good, it turns out. Feeling good. They just gave me that? Oh, I scared the dudes in the cage. That was kind of funny. That was weird. That was just a gimme room. Back, make. <laughs> Ever stubborn, aren't you? Maybe my whip might make you reconsider whatever it is that you're attempting here. Your whip's not been all that persuasive in the past. Maybe persistence will pay off for both of us. Come then. Okay. Let's try and keep our distance. Land some perfect shots on her. This should be very doable. If we're just careful. Drop that food, bitch. Come on. No summoning. It's against the rules. Fuck. Oh, I got I got a food drop. That's so good. That's so helpful. I'm going to win this one, guys. Probably. Bastard. Yeah, you're feeling it, aren't you? You know what's coming, bitch. This fight is mine. Oh, look at this. The bow is incredible for this. I don't have to fear that attack anymore. No. Drop food, please. Thank you. Shit. Put that shit away. Oh my god. No! Got her! <laughs> Second try. Fucked her up. Fury yes. vanquished. The ancient blood. Achilles might know what to do with this. Huh? With the heart seeking bow. Oh, okay. Nice! We got some kind of cool drop. I don't know what it is, but uh, that was awesome. Scrape by with 11 HP, guys. Oh, that's cool, Blue. I love the Okami soundtrack. Don't mind me, father. Yeah, what's up now, Dad? How you like me now, bitch? 
None other than those in the trusted inner circle of Lord Hades are authorized to enter the intricate chambers connecting the vast regions of the underworld. But the prince decides to barge in anyway. I barred where I please. <laughs> Indeed. All right, so I can use this to restore some health. We can shop here. Restore 10% when you enter a chamber. We can just straight up buy 11 gemstones with this. It's probably worth doing. Yeah, let's do... Let's do these two. I think that's our best bet. What is this? Oh, we can sell things here. Really? I can wash away my boons. Oh, so I can trade boons I don't want for coins to buy things. What's the other one in here? The next boon I find is upgraded rarity. Okay. I kind of like all of these, though. I don't know if I want to get rid of any of them. I think I want to keep those actually. I don't think I've gone this far. Yes. Now we're getting somewhere. Asphodel. verdant plains of Asphodel are now engulfed in scintillating flame, having been flooded by the river Phlegathon, whose hideously superheated contents could bring death swiftly even to those resistant to most heat. Hmm. Okay. I'm only flame resistant, not flame proof. So does that mean there's going to be like really hot areas that I have to avoid? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, like that? Jesus Christ. Oh, I didn't... That's the first place in this game where I've been able to walk somewhere and, like, fall off a thing. You know what I mean? That kind of sucked. I didn't think that would happen. This place has definitely seen better days. Okay. All right, well, off we go, I guess. No, shit. Dude. It's too easy to walk off that. This is going to be a whole thing. Okay. These guys can cross the gaps. They're obviously way stronger as well. Definitely a brand new area. Christ. I did it with 4 HP. Son of a mother. This area is serious, guys. Uh, that's money, I believe. So... Let's take this one up here. Steady now. There's like no way I survived this.
Damn, what? I didn't even see something falling there. What is this shadow? Ah, what is this? Oh, I don't like this. At your service. Pleasure. You are the talk of Olympus. Normally I wouldn't get mixed up, but for you, I'll be making an exception. Now come on, we've both got places to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Each time you enter a chamber, you gain a bit of wealth. Whenever you are hit, you have a chance to dodge automatically. Oh. Or our special is faster. Hmm. I mean, I'm gonna die anyway. Like next time I get hit, so we might as well take this one. <laughs> Appreciate the lift, Lord Hermes, sir. Now let's go. Let's think about this. Can I only sell certain ones? Because I have a lot more than just the three that are, that are showing up here. Not expect to get this far on this run, guys. Oh, that's a health thing, isn't it? Yeah, we're, we're taking this one. And look, just like that, I've pretty much got my health back. It's pretty awesome. Um, attacks deal 30% damage, just overall? Sure. Sounds alright. He probably has the most gruesome man in God of War 3. I don't remember specifically what happened to him, but I remember a lot of people a lot of, met a lot of gruesome ends in that game. So it's either, I mean, I, I have the bow, so I should probably go with Artemis, right? And then Zeus will be pissed, but like, whatever, fuck Zeus. Oh, somebody's going to be upset. Dash strike deals more damage. After you deal critical damage to a foe, a foe near it is marked. Oh, that's a curse. For six seconds, victim has a higher chance of taking crit damage. Oh. gets his legs chopped by Kratos. Nice. I should play that again. I haven't played it since, like, probably the year it came out, which was a long time ago at this point. This one sounds alright. Let's go with this one. You overstep your bounds with me, nephew, but I shall make you fall right back in line. I'm sorry, Zeus. I hate to do this, uncle. 
he's angry now. Zeus always was a little bitch, right? He's always getting butt hurt about this or that. Dude, these things are fast. What the fuck? Time to do damage to them. Feel under leveled for this right now. <laughs> like I wasn't supposed to get here this early. Nearly got me. Christ. I say such petty squabbles. Aren't we better than this, Zagreus? Apparently not, Zeus, you dick. That was all on you. Lightning effects also make foes jolted. Hmm. Sure. All right, Lord Zeus. I keep just scraping by by the skin of my nuts. I I played the original one, so I don't know how the remastered version is, but I assume it's fine. Probably shouldn't have used that yet. I don't know why I did that. Ah, oh, they literally turned you to stone. Did I already use that in this run? Maybe it resets when you reach a new area. Okay. Oh, that was cool. I knocked him into the magma. Yeah, suck it, bitch. The tooth from Skelly gave me an extra. Gotcha. Thanks for the reminder. Let's try it. How bad could it be? My coffers are not yours for pillaging. Famous last words. How bad could it be? Bow is not really conducive to killing things quickly. Bow is more about the range, less about That's that. high damage. Cheers. But still. I don't like that you have to hit this twice to pick it up. 
you've got to hit it once to pop it out of the chest, and then you've got to hit it again to pick it up. That's kind of... It's not a huge deal, it's just kind of dumb. Uh, let's go for these. Photo mode and updated graphics, gotcha. Skull crushes. I don't know, it might be hard to go back to the old style of God of War games now that I've played the new, uh, you know, rebooted God of War, which was just like such an incredible game. I don't know how the old ones would feel now. It might feel weird. I'm not even sure what hit me there. It sucks. What? Oh, man. Alright. That was, that was a pretty good run, though. Uh, I, I felt very underleveled once we got to that second area. <laughs> God of War Ragnarok was announced like a week ago, and my body is ready for that game. It's usually pretty quiet keeping watch over the pool of sticks back there, but it's sure been busy lately. Why, somebody else came through just earlier. You should have seen the look on my face when it wasn't you. Glad to keep things interesting. <laughs> you know what's cool? Somebody noticed that uh, Cory Barlog, or Balrog, whatever the hell his name is, the director of the new God of War games. Uh, somebody found out that on Twitter, like two years ago, he put he put a message up. He did like a whole Twitter chain where he was talking about something or other. I don't even remember what he was talking about. But uh, <laughs> somebody figured out that the first letter of every tweet in his tweet chain spelled out Ragnarok is coming. So he literally teased it out two years ago and nobody picked up on it. That's kind of cool. Achilles, sir. I got a relic of some sort out there. A globule of ancient blood which formed after I fought with Megara. Is this really the Titan's blood I found? As far as I know, yes, lad. That it is. Though who's exactly, I'm not so sure. You'd best hang on to it and keep it safe. Your weapons. They shall thirst for it and drink it up. Not yet, perhaps, but soon. Oh. So that thing we got for beating Megara, that's the thing we can use to upgrade our weapons? Well, I wasn't about to drink it. Is that what they just told me there? Ornipus knows of him. Bestowing on them all their worthless blessings here within my realm. Our realm. Explain to me how exactly this is possible, Nix. Either your limitless power has considerably waned, or you are up to something. Do not question my power, Hades. Your son was bound to be discovered the closer he came to the surface. The Olympians are pleased to know they have a distant relative and bid him welcome to their mountain. That is all. Their influence is very limited. Hmm. Blood and darkness, do not speak to me about their influence. I've seen their influence firsthand. You've made a foolish mistake. You would speak to me of foolish mistakes. You cannot change the course that has been set. Try all you like. It's... Ah. Hey, where'd yeah, Cerberus go? Cerberus for now. <laughs> That's, every time I'm like saying something, this guy acknowledges it. That's 
That's really awesome. Th this game does have, like, really great attention to detail. <laughs> you have to unlock all weapons before you can up start upgrading them? Gotcha. Ah. Uh. I guess we can do some of these now, too. Do you get rewards for doing this? Make the Fates' prophecies come to pass and be rewarded. Oh, oh, this one lets us switch keepsakes between underworld regions. Oh, I see. So they, they do give you some perks. This one sounds interesting. Let's get this. Here's the commission. The fated list of minor prophecies. That sounds somewhat exciting, I suppose. <laughs> somewhat exciting. Hey, the lounge is open. Nice, we haven't been in here yet. When the prodigal son returns, everyone's saying I went easy on you, Zag. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, Meg. I eventually managed to get home the painful way after all. Look. I have a reputation to uphold. If you get past me again like that, you best go all the way. Now leave me be and don't think you're gonna be so lucky next we meet out there. Whatever, I beat you once, I'll beat you again, bitch. A commemorative board adorns one of the stoic walls within the lounging area, celebrating and proclaiming the accomplishments of those who serve Lord Hades best of all. Won't ever see my face up on that wall, I guess. You know, it's interesting how this game is treating the Olympians as like a separate faction from Hades, because Hades is an Olympian too, right? Unless they had some kind of falling out in this story that I don't know about yet. Oh, the prince himself. You want to talk to me? Me? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So Dusa is a duty-bound Gorgon. I don't know if it's meant to be THE Medusa, but she is a Gorgon. I, uh, just wanted to say the lounge looks wonderful, as good as new. Better. I hope it's not been too much trouble patching up. I, 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 ow, I have to clean the rafters, I... Thanks for all your hard work. She's a bit of a spaz. Greetings, Chef. Okay, Chef doesn't have much to say, apparently. Maybe we can talk to him later. You think he's considered separate because he lives in the underworld? But he was- I don't know, maybe, but like, he wasn't born there, was he? He was- wasn't that assigned to him? At some point? It was, right, so he's still originally an, an Olympian. Like, that's his race, right? Hey, that must be the fated list. The prophecy has been fulfilled. It has? <laughs> Son of the God of the Dead shall someday meet some of the rulers of Olympus. Oh, so if we met all these people, I get rewarded with three nectars? Wow. My extended family seems an interesting lot. That's cool. Yeah, maybe. I, I'm, I'm honestly not sure. I'm kind of talking out of my ass right now. I used to know a lot about Greek mythology, but honestly, at this point, I've forgotten more than I remember. So, yeah. Really? A thousand upgrade points. That would be really awesome. The son of the god of the dead shall someday break free from the realm in which he was born. So that sounds like we have to beat the game to get this. <laughs> Alright. Son of the god of the dead shall someday meet the rulers of the underworld. We've met five of them. We gotta meet four more. Someday earn various boons of Athena. Okay, so we can work towards getting all of Athena's boons. Shall someday acquire each of the ancient weapons once used to slay the titans. Pretty self-explanatory. 
Um, someday I shall acquire each of the Daedalus enchantments for Stygius. Shall someday acquire each of the Daedalus enchantments for Koronacht. And shall someday reveal a portion of the Underworld Codex. So most of these we should get just by playing the game. For the ones with the boons, we are going to have to focus. Because some of these boons just don't sound that great. But I'm going to have to make a point to choose them at least once to get these rewards. I can be more. Perform one additional dash. That sounds really helpful, actually. Especially with how hard that new area was. So I'm going to grab that. And it's maxed. Excellent. All set. And then I believe we can unlock this. How many keys do I have? I have four. Oh, I could unlock the spear. Or whatever the hell it is. I don't want to do that. Open up, Baratha, the Eternal Spear. Join my pursuit. What'd you get? What'd you get? It's got range. Oh wow! Look at that. Press Y to skewer and recall. <gasps> Dude, I can throw it. It's like the fucking axe from God of War. Or the hammer of Thor. Let me rhyme some more. I don't... No, never mind. Okay, this weapon's fucking cool. And it's got a good dash strike, too. I'm so glad I got this. That's a great weapon. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, so we've unlocked a lot of cool stuff here. I am excited to try this weapon out, but I am going to wrap this up for now. I've been on longer than I intended to be because this game absorbed me. I don't know if I'm ready to call it a perfect game. It's not quite perfect, but it is damn good. It is damn good. Highly recommended. 25 bucks on the Switch or PC through Steam or Epic Game Store. And like I said, you can get 10 bucks off if you go and get Rocket League on Epic Game Store. It's uh, free. No reason not to do it. And Rocket League's awesome, by the way. If you've never played it, it's like a really incredible game. So give that a shot, too. Um... Progress saved two minutes ago. Oh, good. So it auto-saves and it tells you that it auto-saved. I like that a lot. Let me just back out. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna go for now. I appreciate you guys coming out to the stream. Thanks for the support. Hope you had a blast. Uh, have a great weekend. I should be back on tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, we'll play some more Horizon. That's kind of becoming my weekend game. I like to start my weekend streams around 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Lately, I've been getting a later start because I've been sleeping in. And then I feel like shit in the morning. I got to kind of like ease into the day, you know. But we'll try to start around then, maybe a little later. Hope to see you then. Have a great weekend. Bye.